Welcome to our interactive realm and allow us to show you what our probability playground has to offer. Whether you're an avid gamer or a computer novice, our Mission V has something to offer. Our aim of Mission V was to create a resource that was flexible to aid students learning but also be used as a revision tool. Our resource consists of three sections filled with probability problems, allowing students to immerse themselves within the interactive environment. The resource is designed in such a way to cater for the visual learner. One of the main features is the notes, uh, which aid students and can be kept as inventory. Section 1. Here we see the revise here symbol. As we touch it, it unfolds. We are instructed to use the probability scale on the board in order to answer the various problems. For example, uh, a baby is born either a boy or a girl. The answer to this is a probability of 0 0.5. Now the board turns around showing the reasoning for the answer. This is to aid differentiated learning. This section is aimed to relate to students' everyday life through various problems uh, and building on what they know to stretch outside the zone of proximal development. If a student inputs the incorrect answer, the board does not turn around, allowing students to critically reflect on their answer. In the second section, we see large spheres full of small, different coloured balls, which resemble lottery machines. If we click here, the student receives a note telling them what to do. Click on each lever to unlock the question. So if we go over to the sphere and click on the lever, it says, what are the chances of getting a blue ball? The options are impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely or certain. So the student examines the balls in the sphere and we see that there is one blue ball compared to three red balls and three green balls. So the student will deduce that the probability of getting a blue ball is unlikely. And we type that answer in here. It says that's right and the balls spin around. After this, we move on to the probability circus. This section consists of several colourful interactive games, which we hope will catch the student's attention from the start. We head over to the first game, which is made up of a set of spinners. Before the student begins the section, they can revise here. And we have a reminder of how to calculate the probability of an event. If the student approaches any of the spinners and clicks on them, it will spin and land on a random colour. The question for this particular spinner reads, what is the probability of landing on a red colour? The total number of possible events is 3, and two of them are red, so the student inputs 2 over 3. The next game involves coins. These coins can be flipped and are programmed so that the probability of getting a head or a tail is 0 0.5. The students can interact with these and see that if they flip the coin only a few times, the frequencies of heads and tails come up are not likely to be equal. However, the more times they flip the coin, the more likely the frequencies are to even out. Last part of our session is a visual learner to assess the probability of obtaining an even number, odd number and individual numbers. In this section, students are encouraged to work independently, therefore promoting independent learning. Students will roll the dice, which will give them random numbers and allow to test the hypothesis that the probability of getting each number is 1 over 6. This will encourage students to tabulate their results and see if the hypothesis is correct. It is suggested the teacher reflects on students' results and stimulate them with questions. This will make students critically reflect on their work. To conclude, we felt that our Mission V project was carried out to the best of our ability. We feel that it is a useful resource that could be used in many classroom settings. If we were to do this module again, I think we would have a more positive outlook on the idea of game-based learning from the start, and we would have been more realistic in what we could achieve in the time given. We would have spent less time on perfecting our resource and more time reflecting upon the experience as a whole.